Hello and welcome to the Grand Awards session for Spring Leadership Conference. I'm Trinity Costa, your Area 4 President. I know we are all so excited to find out who will receive medals and advance to the State Leadership Conference. Whether you are joining us from home, outdoors, or even your favorite place to relax, we are so glad you're here. Not being able to gather in person certainly does not stop Texas HOSA and its members from becoming future health professionals. As a HOSA member, you are the next generation of healthcare workers. Now, more than ever, it is imperative to continue your quest to becoming a healthcare professional. Let your membership honor today's frontline workers and all they've given and sacrificed during this global pandemic. This conference has been a prime example of HOSA's innovative spirit. We've all had to make adjustments in our lives in the past year, and Texas HOSA is no different. Our organization has had to rethink systems, change perspectives, and alter plans due to this unprecedented situation. But in the midst of changing chaos, innovation, inspiration, and bold new ideas have sprung forth. Through these difficult times, we continue to be committed and dedicated. You have all put in your best efforts into your competition, and we cannot wait to recognize you. I hope you've got your snacks ready because soon it will be time to announce some awards. But first, we begin our ceremony by recognizing some of the most important individuals making this conference possible. You, whether you are a first year member or a graduating senior, take pride in your HOSA accomplishments and continue to find ways to unlock your potential. Graduating seniors can find ways to give back and serve their community by becoming a HOSA alumni member. Visit HOSA.org for details. Remember, once a HOSA member, always a HOSA member. A special thanks goes to all judges and event personnel who assisted with this year's conference. And to our advisors, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules, not just with this conference, but every day you work with your HOSA members. We also want to thank those who serve on the HOSA TA Board of Directors. Their commitment to Texas HOSA makes events such as this conference possible. Now, it is a time for a few words from our state officer team. Hello, Area 4. My name is Italy Ramos and I'm your state vice president. We are truly proud of all of the hard work you have put into this conference experience. We hope you continue that excitement as we move towards the Texas HOSA State Leadership Conference. So, how do you measure greatness? Is it by getting an A in a class, or maybe turning in a paper on time, or simply just excelling in your path to becoming a health professional? Today, we will be recognizing those who have achieved greatness in their competitive events and stepped forth as a leader in Texas HOSA. However, greatness should not be measured by how many medals you receive. Instead, it should be measured by the personal growth and knowledge you have obtained through your personal experience. No matter the outcome today, you have all achieved a level of greatness by just being a HOSA member. So grab your keys and get ready to unlock your potential because this year's Texas HOSA State Leadership Conference theme is Texas HOSA Gateway to Greatness. We all know that Texas HOSA members love to serve their community. This year's service project is Be The Match. At the 2021 Texas HOSA State Leadership Conference, your state officers will be introducing the new Be The Match fundraiser. The state officer team feels that this is the best way to raise awareness and money for this meaningful cause. Let's take a look at this new innovative and unique challenge. Hey Texas HOSA, it's time to get up and get active because this year's State Conference Service Project is Catch the Match. Whether getting active means lacing up your shoes, cultivating your artistic skills, or hashtag spreading awareness, get ready to get active in supporting our service project, Be The Match. Signing up is as easy as tying your shoe. Head to our designated fundraising website, bethematchhosa.org and donate a minimum of $2 to register for our virtual 5K service project. But wait, the amount of donations Be The Match receives doesn't have to end at $2. The chapters with the most participants and the greatest amount in donations 
will be recognized at the State Leadership Grand Award Session. In addition, these chapters will receive a one-of-a-kind Catch the Match banner, which they can hang in their schools. So, encourage your friends, family, and your chapter to join in and catch the match. Hey, someone's calling. Tell us more. With just a few taps, you can show us your snaps. To showcase your 5K experience, post pictures using the hashtag catch the match. The runner that captures their best 5K pose and receives the most likes will receive HOSA and Be The Match merchandise. With your creative post, we can spread the word about Be The Match. But don't let the creativity end there. Join us in making your own custom bib. Use stickers, glitter, or even just a splash of color and release your inner Van Gogh. Post your final bib using the same Catch The Match hashtag and we'll choose the most creative. Now, let's go to the finish line. Be The Match's mission is not yet finished, but let's be the ones to help them come one step closer to the finish line. Your support can go miles on a patient's journey as they catch their match and win the fight against blood cancer. See you at the state conference, Texas HOSA. The chapter with the most participants who meet all of the requirements will receive a prize. Join the movement and open your gateway to greatness. The state officers have a tradition of selecting the most spirited area in Texas that shows off their excitement, their enthusiasm, and of course, their hostess spirit. Each area is assigned a designated color to represent their spirit. The color you have been assigned is orange. Join the Capture Your Color Challenge by submitting pics showing the most creative use of our area color on social media. The area with the most creative use of their color will be awarded the most spirited area at this year's State Leadership Conference. We all know Area 4 is sure to walk away with the most spirited award at the State Leadership Conference. We look forward to seeing how you capture your color. We enjoyed seeing everyone make the most of their conference experience on social media. Please continue to share your chapter's activities by submitting your photos to the social media sites on the screen using hashtag Area 4 take the floor. Then, watch for your photo to be featured at the State Leadership Conference. Remember to keep posting those pictures showing your chapter's activities, supporting Be The Match, and capture your color challenges. This year, for the first time, we were able to virtually visit with area chapters. It was nice to make connections and share ideas with the local chapters. We encourage all chapters to connect with each other as well. This collaboration is what makes Texas HOSA the gateway to greatness. As your Area 4 officer team, our spirit will always remain strong. We have been proud to serve you this past year. We are constantly inspired by your commitment to HOSA and to being the foundation of future health professionals. Thank you for letting us serve as your officer team. Each of us didn't know what to expect when we took the oath of office last year. But what we discovered was our leadership potential. And it's thanks to the many opportunities Texas HOSA offers. We truly have a deeper understanding of what it means to be servant leaders. We would like to thank our advisors for playing a vital role in our journey. We need you to know that your kindness and support does not go unnoticed. As we reflect on our accomplishments this past year, we realize then none of them would have been possible without you. So for this, we give you our sincerest gratitude. At the Area 4 business session, the voting delegates representing your chapters selected a new team of officers to lead our area for the 2021-2022 year. Now, it is time to announce the newly elected officers of the Area 4 HOSA for the 2021-2022 year. These candidates were installed during this year's business session as the new Area 4 Officer Team. 
They will begin their term at the conclusion of this virtual Area 4 Spring Leadership Conference. We wish them the best of luck. Hosa members, it's time to find out who will earn medallions and head to the Texas Hosa State Leadership Conference. Today, we will be recognizing all those members who have excelled in their competitive events. Thank you everyone for a successful conference. Best of luck to all the members who will be competing at the State Leadership Conference. On behalf of the Area 4 Officer Team, we hope to see you there and on social media. The 2021 Texas HOSA Area 4 Spring Leadership Conference is now adjourned. Let the awards program begin. And now for your 2021 SLC Area 4 results. Top three competitors will advance to state conference. Health science events. And behavioral health. In fifth place, Lynn Wynn, Friendship High School. In fourth place, Vianney Murillo, El Paso CCTE. In third place, Angie Lee, Coronado High School. In second place, Michaela Ward, Friendship High School. And in first place, Emily DeLuna, Friendship High School. In Cultural Diversities and Disparities in Healthcare. In fifth place, Jimena Fuentes, Dimit High School. In fourth place, Fatima Khan, Bel Air CHP. In third place, Jody Leiva, Bel Air CHP. In second place, Azul Portillo, El Paso CCTE. And in first place, Ariana Juarez, El Paso CCTE. In dental terminology. In fifth place, Chloe Lester, Friendship High School. In fourth place, Morella Perez, Bel Air CHP. In third place, Ninel Medina, Silva Health Magnet High School. In second place, Ty Skiles, Friendship High School. And in first place, Gabriela Hernandez, Silva Health Magnet High School. In Health Informatics. In first place, Jillian Rodriguez, El Paso CCTE. In Human Growth and Development. In fifth place, Amy Eastland, AACAL. In fourth place, Ryan Clough, Friendship High School. In third place, Kiana Diaz, Mission Early College High School. In second place, Ariana Banez, Fabians High School. And in first place, Natalie Dang, Friendship High School. In Medical Law and Ethics. In fifth place, Maritza Serrano, Silva Health Magnet High School. In fourth place, Taylor Tubbs, Friendship High School. In third place, Katie Villegas, Friendship High School. In second place, Alejandro Hernandez, Bel Air CHP. And in first place, Valeria Martinez, Mission Early College High School. In medical math. In fifth place, Madison Cruz, Bel Air CHP. In fourth place, Audrey Wooden, Dimit High School. In third place, Audrey Macias, Lubbock Cooper High School. In second place, Karen Cortez, El Paso CCTE. And in first place, Katia Villava, Cantuyo High School. In medical reading. In fifth place, Michaela Watkins, Leveland High School. In fourth place, Frida Mancayo, Silva Health Magnet High School. In third place, Claudia Moncayo, Silva Health Magnet High School. In second place, Joely Patano, Friendship High School. And in first place, Eleanor Schonbrunn, Franklin High School. In medical spelling, in third place, Alexa Vasquez, Bel Air CHP. In second place, Abigail Lamborn, 
El Paso CCTE. And in first place, Favor Pieri, Silva Health Magnet High School. In medical terminology, in fifth place, America Granillo, Franklin High School. In fourth place, Asti Patel, Friendship High School. In third place, Karime Constantino, El Paso CCTE. In second place, Halisa Carrillo, Brownfield High School. And in first place, Carlos Paz, Pebble Hills High School. In nutrition, in fifth place, Gabriel Villa Gomez, Lubbock ATC. In fourth place, Alyssa Chavira, El Paso CCTE. In third place, Katherine Seidler, Coronado High School. In second place, Samara Reynaga, Coronado High School. And in first place, Danielle Vo, AACAL. In pathophysiology, in fifth place, Alexandra Dan Miller, Friendship High School. In fourth place, Geraldine Castaneda, El Paso CCTE. In third place, Sofia Hernandez, Silver Health Magnet High School. In second place, Su Min Kim, Franklin High School. And in first place, Madison Villanueva, Friendship High School. In pharmacology, in fifth place, Bryn Griffin, El Paso CCTE. In fourth place, Leslie Garcia, Lubbock Cooper High School. In third place, Marvin Shake, Friendship High School. In second place, Cameron Rogers, Lubbock Cooper High School. And in first place, Zachary Gordon, Friendship High School. Health Professions Events. In Biomedical Laboratory Science. In fifth place, Rachel Galvan, Silva Health Magnet High School. In fourth place, Caden Boatwright, Friendship High School. In third place, Karina Parra, Silva Health Magnet High School. In second place, Arlene Ruiz Olivas, Silva Health Magnet High School. And in first place, Jesus Espino, Silva Health Magnet High School. In clinical nursing, in fifth place, Camila Ceniceros, Pebble Hills High School. In fourth place, Lauren Hernandez, Silva Health Magnet High School. In third place, Ezra Bullock, Silva Health Magnet High School. In second place, Abigail Alonzo, Bel Air CHP. And in first place, Leanne Alvarado, Bel Air CHP. In clinical specialty, in first place, Samantha Center, El Paso CCTE. In dental science, in second place, Reina Padilla, Silva Health Magnet High School. And in first place, Vincent Guo, El Paso CCTE. In home health aid, in fifth place, Kataiba Sudan, El Paso CCTE. In fourth place, Emily Cantu, Bel Air CHP. In third place, Celine Orozco, Silva Health Magnet High School. In second place, Calgary Oaks, Leveland High School. And in first place, Corin Pecrule, Canyon High School. In medical assisting, in fifth place, Ashley Hendricks, El Paso CCTE. In fourth place, Robert Lazoya, Mission Early College High School. In third place, Sophia Craig, Silver Health Magnet High School. In second place, Cameron White, Canyon High School. And in first place, Isabel Cruz, El Paso CCTE. Nursing assisting. In fifth place, Mallory Magana, Leveland High School. In fourth place, Kiara Childers, Leveland High School. In third place, Yadali Chavez, Bel Air CHP. In second place, Evelyn Garcia, Canyon High School. 
And in first place, Karen Nunez, Friendship High School. In Pharmacy Science. In fifth place, Eric Vergara, Silver Health Magnet High School. In fourth place, Madison Presley, Friendship High School. In third place, Moraima Avila, Bel Air CHP. In second place, Obzaldo Moreno, Bel Air CHP. And in first place, Blanca Navarrete, El Paso CCTE. In physical therapy, in fifth place, Anita Acuna, Bel Air CHP. In fourth place, Marlene Saldana, Canutio High School. In third place, Angeli Miranda, Bel Air CHP. In second place, Vivian Casares, El Paso CCTE. And in first place, Sebastian Ortiz, El Paso CCTE. In sports medicine, in fifth place, Alicia Sosa, Bel Air CHP. In fourth place, Melissa Salcido, El Paso CCTE. In third place, Christian Lozano, El Paso CCTE. In second place, Kaylee Williams, Lubbock Cooper High School. And in first place, Shalom Armijo, El Paso CCTE. In veterinary science, in fifth place, Jalissa Parra, Silver Health Magnet High School. In fourth place, Kayla Olag, Mission Early College High School. In third place, Vivian Coronado, Bel Air CHP. In second place, Janice Rodriguez, Mission Early College High School. And in first place, Charisse Chablanche, Friendship High School. Emergency Preparedness Events. Insert Skills. In fifth place, from Bel Air CHP, Moreno and Diaz. In fourth place, from Friendship High School, Jones and Langenig. In third place, from Mission Early College High School, Luis and Acosta. In second place, from Silver Health Magnet High School, Villarreal and Oyervides. And in first place, from Silver Health Magnet High School, Mangayanes and Monroy. In CPR first aid, in fifth place, from El Paso CCTE, Rodriguez and Rubio. In fourth place, from Friendship High School, Sims and Garcia. In third place, from Friendship High School, Hanks and Phillips. In second place, from El Paso CCTE, Cano and Olivas. And in first place, from Franklin High School, Al Sahraj and Romero. An emergency medical technician. In fifth place, from Friendship High School, Villarreal and Fasson. In fourth place, from Bel Air CHP, Zepeda and Urquidi. In third place, from El Paso CCTE, Marfil and Costa. Second place from El Paso CCTE, Crojo and Favela. And in first place from Bel Air CHP, Plaza and Ramani. In leadership events, in extemporaneous writing, in third place, Holly Royal, Levelin High School. In second place, Raul Garcia. Silver Health Magnet High School. And in first place, Sandeep Singh, Canotillo High School. In Health Career Photography. In fourth place, Tatiana Saldana, Canotillo High School. In third place, Brianna Enriquez, El Paso CCTE. In second place, Leslie Ortiz Perroteran, 
Lubbock Cooper High School. And in first place, Alyssa Cisneros, Silva Health Magnet High School. In job seeking skills, in third place, Mariel Robles, Friendship High School. In second place, Giselle Granillo, Bel Air CHP. And in first place, Nadia Marie, Lubbock ATC. In prepared speaking, in fourth place, James Overton, El Paso CCTE. In third place, Sila Munoz, Franklin High School. Second place, Diego Madrid, Bel Air CHP. And in first place, Ashley Mascorro, Bel Air CHP. In research, persuasive writing and speaking. In second place, Iran Diaz, Bel Air CHP. And in first place, Kaylee McCarter, Loveland High School. Research poster. In second place, Jalen Vasquez, Pebble Hills High School. And in first place, Araceli Calderon, Bel Air CHP. Teamwork events. In biomedical debate. In fourth place, the team from Canotillo High School, Ruiz Rojas Hernandez and Contreras. In third place, from Lubbock Cooper High School, Billingsley, Schroeder, and Curry. In second place, from Mission Early College High School, Bustillos, Alvarado, Veliz, and Amaya. And in first place, from Silva Health Magnet High School, Gutierrez, Valenzuela, Alarcón, and Relax. Community Awareness. In first place, from Franklin High School, Stroop, Van Mali, and Victorian. Creative Problem Solving. In fifth place, Cartwright, Love, Bushnell, and Alcedo from Pebble Hills High School. In fourth place, Relat, Molina, Arviso, and Min, Silva Health Magnet High School. In third place, Nevarez, Ganjejunte and Wright, Silver Health Magnet High School. In second place, Adeset, Doe, Aragon, and Doe, Franklin High School. And in first place, Diwa Bajros Duron, Franklin High School. In forensic science. In fifth place, from Bel Air CHP, Daniel N. Guerrero. Fourth place from Silva Health Magnet High School, Ganyan and Martin. In third place from Franklin High School, Fallon and Lammers. In second place from Mission Early College High School, Ortiz and Solis. And in first place from Bel Air CHP, Molina and Ramirez. In health career display, in fifth place from Franklin High School, Bang and Silva. In fourth place from Pebble Hills High School, Smith and Olave. In third place from Canyon High School, Miller and Bowman. In second place from Coronado High School, Ansley and Taylor. And in first place from Silver Health Magnet High School, Ramos and Garcia. In health education, in third place from Pebble Hills High School, Ayala and Aranya. In second place from Canotillo High School, Del Real, Cervantes, and Castorena. And in first place from El Paso CCTE, Avena Leon and Leon. In Hostable, in third place from Friendship High School, Patel, Hogel, Zalawi, and Giles. In second place from Friendship High School, Taman, Salisbury, Garrison, and Senna. And in first place from Silver Health Magnet High School, Delgado, Anaya, 
Lawa and Bugari. Medical innovation. In fourth place from Bel Air CHP, Lopez, Bonilla, Egure, and Vasquez. In third place from Pebble Hills High School, Aramendares and Reed. In second place from Franklin High School, Lu and Liang. And in first place from Silver Health Magnet High School, Iniguez and Chen. Parliamentary Procedure. In second place, from Silver Health Magnet High School, Mayer, Bozeman, Chavez, Ortega, Connor, and Vasquez. And in first place, from Silver Health Magnet High School, Bravo, Hernandez, Patel, Camacho, and Cortez. Public Service Announcement. In second place, from Franklin High School, Fonda, Ricardez, Soto, and Yu. And in first place, from El Paso CCTE, Alexander, Briones, Rodriguez, and Cardona. Recognition Events. In Healthcare Issues Exam, Katia Villalva from Canotillo High School will advance to the state conference. Thank you to all competitors.